The Burj Khalifa in Dubai is currently the tallest building in the world, but the Saudis plan to build an even bigger project. Jeddah Tower, which is on hold, is designed to be the first building to rise to one kilometer and promises to be the jewel on the crown in an area once thought unfit for residents. In today's video, we will be talking about the famed Jeddah Tower, the intricate details about the expected skyscraper, and how Saudi politics and the pandemic have postponed its construction to an unforeseeable future. Even the major financier was caught up in a corruption scandal that put the building efforts on hold for three years. So let's dive into why Saudi Arabia's one kilometer high Jeddah Tower might never get finished. In 2008, Prince Al-Walid bin Talal of Saudi Arabia gave the world mouth-watering news. He was intent on building the world's tallest skyscraper, nothing less than one kilometer high. In a rapidly growing community like the Jeddah Economic City, this towering structure will quickly become the center of attention. While the lower floors will get busy with commercial activities, the higher decks are poised for residents. Right in the middle of both extremes, business and hospitality will mix with a luxury hotel. All Prince Al-Walid foresaw was a building that brings everything to its occupants. To get a mental picture of Jeddah Tower, it is planned to be three times the height of the Eiffel Tower. Yet daylight has not seen this wild dream come to fruition. Only one third of the tower has been built, and there are no plans to kickstart construction since it came to a grinding halt. To date, the website of its developers, Jeddah Economic Company, still has a jaw-dropping aerial view of the building, with the words, it's happening, embellished on it but reality says otherwise. However, in one big way, Jeddah Tower shares a connection with the Burj Khalifa. World-renowned American architect Adrian Smith drew out the plans for both. So the two structures have similar design features. Jeddah Tower joins the Dubai Hotel as it almost doubles the 600 meter mark that qualifies tall buildings. Design-wise, it has three walls that give it a Y-shaped plan. With extensive research on how skyscrapers react to wind, the chief architect Adrian has concluded that the tri-wall design is more aerodynamic and has a better resistance to wind shear at high altitudes than four walls would. Another exciting feature is the open-air observation deck spotted at 664 meters. At first, this space was designed as the Jeddah Tower's helipad, but the idea was later scrapped. Aviation experts advised the architects that landing a helicopter at such height could turn out as a disaster due to the gusty, sudden winds from the desert. So it will just serve as a spot for sightseeing and outdoor gatherings. Construction of Jeddah Tower began on April 1st, 2013, but it took over a year to get things off the ground. Its massive foundation measures 10 feet in diameter and beats a standard football pitch in length. By September 2014, above-ground construction commenced, and progress was going slowly but surely until Saudi was hit by a political crisis. In 2017, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman did an anti-corruption sweep to announce his rise to power. 11 Saudi princes got involved in this controversy, including Al-Walid bin Talal the money guy for Jeddah Tower. But he was not alone. Some of his partners at the Saudi Bin Laden group were also affected, so construction came to a standstill. And while investigations persisted, $800 billion was frozen from the accounts of those indicted, and this, in turn, affected labor on site. To date, no one knows the exact intentions behind the 2017 to 2019 Saudi Arabian purge, but three hypotheses have come to life. The move was either a genuine war against corruption, a money-making scheme, or a show of power. However, sometime later in 2018, it seemed the building would resume as Jeddah Economic Company's CEO Munib Hamoud told CNN that the world's tallest building would be ready by 2020. He stated, As of 2020, we'll start seeing things. You'll see the tower, you'll see the shopping mall, you'll see many other projects. But nothing prepared him for the COVID pandemic. Today, Jeddah Tower stands about 300 meters off the ground, the same height as in 2017, which is one third of the proposed plan. While road work and mapping plans were rolled out by the developers last year, nothing was said of the mega centerpiece. And while some believe the project will resume soon, others think that Jeddah Tower delay is beyond typical. There seems to be more to the halt than the Jeddah Economic Group is letting slip. Not a single rumor about the 
resumption has come true. Maybe it will end up as a stump in the ground. The only hope there is now is how Saudi Arabians don't give up, and it might be too embarrassing to fail after much promise. Jeddah Tower was set to become a self-sustaining entity and has received applause from various quarters as an elegant, cost-efficient, and highly constructible design expected to gulp around $1.23 billion. This record breaker is of a reasonable budget for the Middle East, and the labor market is key to the low cost. Labor is cheap in the region, and round-the-clock efforts should have had Jeddah Tower standing already. So what's done to the development of Jeddah Tower? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. This is Business Loop, have an amazing day.